All right, welcome back to AI Revolution Channel, the place where we break down complex concepts into digestible content. Today, I have something absolutely stunning to share with you. It's an AI tool that I truly believe is going to completely revolutionize how we edit photos, and it's called Dragon. Honestly, it's so innovative and advanced, you might find it hard to believe until you see it in action. So, Dragon is an innovation that was developed by the renowned Max Planck Institute. And trust me, this AI tool is set to redefine our understanding and practice of photo editing as we know it. And I say that because now you can effortlessly drag and drop points on an image, changing the photo's appearance in real time, which is, frankly, a giant leap in photo editing. You see, Dragon primarily employs two main components a feature-based motion supervision, and an innovative point tracking approach. The feature-based motion supervision technique directs the image generation process by using the movement of handle points as input. On the other hand, the point tracking approach is a method that automatically identifies and tracks the handle points on the image, even when they're obscured or warped. To get better understanding on how these two components work together to allow for accurate image deformations, we need to understand the process. First, as a user, you select certain handle points on the image that you wish to manipulate. Now, these points can be any key areas that dictate the shape or posture of the object, like the corners of a mouth, the eyes, or even the limbs. Once you've done that, you'll move these points to new positions on the image, indicating how you'd like to adjust the object. For example, if you're looking to transform a neutral face into a smiling one, all you have to do is move the corners of the mouth upward. As you're dragging the points, Dragon keeps track of their movement and generates a new image that matches the deformation you desire. This is made possible by the use of a generative adversarial network, a type of AI model that's renowned for its ability to generate lifelike images from scratch. Now, Dragon leverages a special kind of Jan that can generate images on a latent space. In case you're wondering, latent space is a high dimensional space representing all possible images. So, Dragon moves the handle points on this latent space, resulting in images that are consistent with the user's input. Here's the surprising part. Dragon does more than just reshape or expand existing pixels. In fact, it creates entirely new content that fits seamlessly with the rest of the image. So let's say you manipulate someone's head to rotate it. Dragon will actually generate unseen facial features from the original image, like the ears or teeth, making it all appear incredibly realistic. Not only this, but it also adjusts the image's lighting and shading to enhance its natural look. And the best thing about Dragon is that it's not limited to just certain types of images. It can manipulate all sorts of images, whether they're of people, animals, landscapes, vehicles, and so on. This is a major step up from earlier methods that needed specific models or markers for each category, giving users a much more versatile and adaptable tool to work with. Also, the impressive speed and efficiency of Dragon stand out. There's no need for any extra networks or pre-processing steps for it to work. It's designed to operate on any device that can handle Jan, such as the RTX 3090 GPU. Plus, it can generate images in less than a second, offering an interactive experience with instant feedback. The team behind Dragon has rigorously tried it out on a wide range of datasets and situations, demonstrating its effectiveness in smoothly and realistically adjusting user-selected points. When compared with other approaches like StyleGAN 2ADA and PGGAN Spade, Dragon has consistently delivered better results in terms of accuracy and user interaction. Currently, one of the most popular tools for editing images using AI is Canva's AI Photo Editor. It's designed to quickly enhance your photos by improving their quality, removing backgrounds, deleting unwanted objects, or even transforming them into paintings. You have a wide range of options, such as templates, filters, stickers, fonts, and design elements to create impressive graphics for social media, websites, presentations, and more. It's easy to use, fast, and available for free to everyone. However, while Canva's tool is pretty awesome, it doesn't provide as precise and realistic control over the position, shape, expression, or arrangement of objects in images. It also can't seamlessly generate new content that matches the rest of the image when you add or remove objects, and it doesn't support point-based editing or mask-based editing like Dragon does. So it's possible that Dragon is the new champion in the field of AI photo editing. Another fantastic feature of Dragon is the degree of control it gives users when editing images. Users can choose to use a binary mask, 
which shows the movable part of a picture. This basically lets you select specific parts of the picture that you want to change, while the rest remains the same. For example, if you want to turn a dog's head without changing its body or the background, you can use a mask that only covers its head. To be truthful, Dragon, just like any other technology, isn't perfect and has a few limitations. One of the main issues is that it needs a wide range of training data to create its realistic images. If the training data doesn't have enough examples of different types of objects, Dragan might have trouble generating accurate images or could create visual errors. Another challenge is dealing with areas that lack texture or have complex patterns. Tracking and matching these areas across different images can be more difficult. It's also important to think about how this technology could be used inappropriately to create fake pictures of real people, making them look like they're posing, expressing, or shaped differently than they actually are. But despite these challenges and risks, the truth is, Dragon offers a wide range of opportunities and advantages for future advancements and applications. Its developers are already looking ahead, aiming to extend this point-based editing technology to 3D generative models. This means you'll be able to manipulate 3D objects in even cooler and more realistic ways, going beyond what we thought was possible before. Dragon is the result of years of research and development, combining state-of-the-art techniques in computer vision, machine learning, graphics, and human-computer interaction. It is also the product of collaboration and innovation among researchers from different backgrounds and disciplines. The team behind Dragon includes Xingang Pan from the Max Planck Institute for Informatics and Saarbrücken Research Center for Visual Computing, Interaction, and AI. Ayush Tawari from MIT, Thomas Limekuller from the Max Planck Institute for Informatics, Lingji Liu from the University of Pennsylvania, Abimitra Mecca from Google ARVR, and Christian Theobald from the Max Planck Institute for Informatics and Sayar Brucken Research Center for Visual Computing, Interaction, and AI. They shared their findings in a paper called Drag Your GAN, Interactive Point-Based Manipulation on the Generative Image Manifold which was published in the conference proceedings of SIGGRAPH 2023. The paper provides detailed explanations of their approach and the results they achieve. You can find the paper on RxAV or visit their project website. The researchers aim to inspire more people to explore the possibilities of image editing using GANs through Dragon. They also hope that it will generate new ideas and applications for this technology. Ultimately, their goal is to make photo editing more accessible and enjoyable for everyone. So stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on all the important happenings in the field of AI and bring you fresh and interesting content. And be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to us.